take over. So how are you all feeling right now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It's so nice to, you know, at least to see each other's face one more time. And the love you're giving, we can feel from here. So we thank you so, so much for coming. And love is all about giving, right? And when it's, we talk about giving, um, I have this phrase that says, um, living for the sake of others. Who didn't hear this phrase before? <laughs> I heard a no. Anyone? Yeah. So there is uh, so much that involves that, in, uh, that is inside that phrase, right? But um, as a human beings, we all have a period of growth. And as unificationists, we have the three periods of growth, right? The growth, uh, the formation, the growth, and the perfection. And our character also has those three kinds of uh, levels to grow. Um, for example, um, in terms of giving, right? So the formation stage of the giving is like, you kind of give it by force, right? I want to give, but should I give, right? Should I give that? It's kind of, kind of, a, kind of a force that your feeling is. So it's a part of the growth, right? Now, and the growth stage is more like, um, I'm going to give, but, you know, for example, my birthday, you know, I gave the person, the person gave me a gift, and then, should I give it back to her? You know, she just give it to me. Or, or the opposite, you know, um, a person gave me a gift and start to, oh, should I get it back, or she's going to give me something back, or she's going to say thank you to me, right? It's kind of like you measure, you know, what, what you want to receive, actually, in your giving, right? Um, I have an example, maybe he's not going to be mad at me. <laughs> um, one day, you know, I was working, and I, I got home, I mean, I was working, and I decided to go grocery shopping. I was so proud of myself, and I'm going out and doing work and coming back doing groceries. And when I got home, and they were all helping me to put the groceries away, so I was pretty proud of myself. But then there is this little thing that came to my mind, and it was like, wow, I'm, I'm craving coffee. You know, I just want to have some coffee. And then one of them said, oh, do you want to make it? Are you going to make it? I was like, you know the feeling, right? That I'm talking about. So it's kind of, I work all day, and I did grocery. You should offer me coffee, not tell me to, to make some coffee, right? And that feeling came to me, so I know that I'm in a growth stage, you know, for all of them. <laughs> I'm in a growth stage. Um, yeah, but then uh, that's the kind of, love, you know, of giving in that stage, but also there is a perfection stage which we give and we forget that we give it. And we give and we look for ways to give more. So that is actually the perfection that we say that when we don't measure, we just give. And then that's the point where we can feel we become absolute spirits. Like we reach that point where we can completely give love, completely give yourself, right? But it's not easy. It's not easy, right? So, can I show you a video? Yes. Is it okay? All right, I'm gonna show you a video. And what do you see there? Seems like he's taking, right, instead of giving. <laughs> but there is something I learned about watching this video. So I want you to see it. You can play the video. Exactly. 
exactly. Is that for real? Wow. So we have so much to learn, right? With a simple um, cat. Yes. So it's possible, right? If we give, you know, our heart with, sincer with sincerity. And it didn't click to me until I heard these words um, about living for the sake of others in a morning devotion by um, Dr. Young. So those words that you heard here, I heard there, and it clicked to me. I mean, it's possible we live for the sake of others, right? But how we do with a sincere heart? And I want to thank you for coming and listening, and I hope you enjoy it, and, and I hope you become absolute spirits, right? Yes. Can we do that? Yes. Yes. Okay, I really appreciate your presence. And I hope to see you again. All right, thank you. Not probably the only one, but I can relate a lot to the story that Anselme gave. I remember when uh, we were first getting to know each other, I gave a story where I was like, I told myself, every night I'm going to massage my wife at night because she's going to be tired and I want to be that kind of husband. And uh, seven years down the road, all I ever want at the end of the day is for her to massage me and make me my food. And I've reflected on it recently, and actually it's a good reflection I can make every day that I want to be able to be the person who gives and gives and gives. Just like God has given and given and given. I'm not in the perfection stage yet, but I see God as a parent who can love me no matter what I do, is in the perfection, and I want to be there with him. And so I can really relate to living for the sake of others and how it takes every moment to get there. We've got a couple more songs. This next song is like my favorite song, really. It really reaches me deeply. It lets me get a feeling that I'm close with God again as my parent. of that we can be proud of, Heavenly Parent. We're so grateful. 
grateful to be here with our brothers and sisters, even at a distance, to feel your love in, in connection, your love in music. And as we praise you, and as we love you, and as we offer ourselves to you, I know that we're just going to have even more strength to keep giving, and to keep loving, and to become who our heart and soul want to be, which is really your children, which is your image, which is just like you, Heavenly Parent. Thank you so much for this evening, for this music, for your love. We offer this in our names. Ah, June.
So let's come together now. Let's start a song. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for being here tonight.
Thank you.